The Puerto Rican author Esmeralda Santiago released her new book, The Mothers, Las Madres. The story begins in Puerto Rico in 1975 and travels to the Bronx in New York City until 2017, the year when the powerful Hurricane Maria passed over the island. Francis Felix was at the event and brings us the story. Memory loss, Hurricane Maria and the Puerto Rican woman are part of the central topics of the new book Las Madres, the Mothers of the award-winning Puerto Rican author Esmeralda Santiago, who releases her new book here in her beloved island. The Puerto Rican writer Esmeralda Santiago traveled to the island to release her new book, The Mothers, Las Madres, a book she wrote during the, the pandemic time. Almost 500 people assisted to the event in the Cultural Institute in Olsen 1, waiting for their book to be signed and shared with the author. Uh, Las Madres is very close to our heart because we're very, in Puerto Rico, we're very related to our families, especially to our mothers. So I, I think that it's a big gift for her to give us this beautiful novel. Las Madres de Mother show the story of five women and a secret that unites them. Hurricane Irma and Maria in 2017 were the team focus of the story. Las Madres is about five women who all know each other and um, who have known each other all their lives. Three of them are mothers, two of them are their daughters. And uh, the book is about how they decided to come to Puerto Rico for a birthday party to celebrate one of the uh, Las Madres. And unfortunately, they are stranded during Hurricane Maria and they experience the hurricane and, uh, and the aftermath for you know a few days, uh, several days, and how the community where they were, they were renting a house and how the community came together to help one another and to do things that needed to be done that the government wasn't doing. Uh, but it's not a criticism of, of the government, it's really more of a celebration of how a community comes together and how um, the, these five women are representative of the kinds of um, experiences that people had during that very fraught, difficult, and traumatic time. Most of her stories are about her culture and empowering Puerto Rican women. It's necessary. We need to hear women's stories. We need to hear women's experience. Um, and we need to know the reality of being a woman by a woman. Next year is the 30th anniversary of her famous novel, When I Was a Puerto Rican, a book that changed her life. I had no idea of whether this book would be read by anybody except my family. I did not have any idea that the book would have the kind of impact that it has had and that, you know, 30 years later the book is still uh, published, it's still being uh, translated, it's being taught in schools. It's a total shock to me. Where do you find inspiration for this book, for Las um, Madres? Las Madres emerges from my curiosity about memory and about what is memory and what happens to memory when people are no longer alive. And, uh, and who holds memory? Who, do they, who owns our memories, and especially once we're gone? Reporting from Olson Juan Puerto Rico, Francis Felix for One Caribbean News.